Hi guys, uh, welcome to another tutorial of uh, MySQL 8 uh, database administration. Uh, today uh, we will be talking about uh, uh, the new uh, thing which has been uh, introduced in MySQL 8 uh, that is roles in MySQL 8. Uh, before MySQL 8 we didn't have any roles. Uh, all you have to do is to grant uh, the uh, grant the privileges to any user. So today uh, we will be talking about the new feature uh, in MySQL 8 uh, related to the privileges system uh, which I have to say that that is called roles. So let's talk about this roles. Uh, just like uh, other user may have complex privileges. Uh, a common example for this is like uh, if a user uh, used to report uh, this user does not need uh, to write any data but there is also a possibility uh, it doesn't need read all data so it is very likely uh, that it can be used uh, only for the few specific tables or column so it can only have uh, selected access uh, to the set of views uh, that uh, that will also be a specific one so these privileges uh, can add up quickly and uh, end up in a very long user definition uh, so we will not use uh, a definition and more grants are making room for more mistake so so that's why uh, in MySQL uh, 8 these previous uh, sets can be defined as roles and roles can be granted to users instead of uh, basic MySQL privileges so role is a collection of privileges that we grant to the user that is a simple definition and uh, just like a new user uh, we create uh, we can use the same create uh, command but we will say that uh, use uh, what do you say create role so let me create a role uh, just like this uh, this is how we create a role with the create statement create role uh, create then role and then we say that uh, report uh, role what I'm saying here this I'm just going to create a role which is called as report underscore RO and once it is created uh, like just like this uh, you can create multiple rows as well uh, like I have created like one two and this was three so role app ro uh, app underscore w underscore dev so you can create multiple roles as well uh, let's grant some uh, privileges uh, to this our new uh, role uh, just a minute uh, which is uh, this okay so now uh, I have uh, grants roles to this user uh, you can do that with show grants just like we check for uh, grants for user uh, we can check it for a role as well sorry so grants for so now you can see that uh, this role is having a select on employees dot static means a static means that uh, all the tables inside this uh, employees table so now okay so this have privileges now and then uh, this role uh, this this guy can be uh, can we can grant this uh, to any other user uh, so for that uh, let me create a user and okay uh, if you can see I have used this user if not exist so what it does if the user already exists uh, it will override it will it won't give you an error but it will give you uh, a warning like just like this uh, it says you see it's given us a warning uh, if i don't use the if not exists uh, it will give me the error so it won't let me do that so if you see uh, show warnings warning I think it's like that. okay so you see uh, this is the warning and you have an error in the syntax so uh, you can check the which warning it has given to me so now uh, you can see we have the user created and let me uh, log in to the user from another prompt so I will show you like what we are doing here and uh, let me copy the password uh, copy word copying pasting things make things easier <laughs> okay so now uh, we have log into another user if you see here select user so I'm connecting from cop uh, company underscore role uh, okay so let me clear this 
and now let me grant uh, the report role to our user which we have created okay so now this has been done and uh, let's go to the other user and check uh, uh, what kind of privileges this have and let's see we have show grants uh, because we are connected to this user and show grants for and mentioning the name of the user is not necessary we can do this like show grants okay if you see here uh, that grant uh, this role grant has been associated with this company uh, username but if you see uh, the privileges uh, which the report role have has not been assigned it because if you see uh, my current uh, select my current role uh, it won't show you that uh, I have been assigned uh, any role because you see this says none so in order to make the role get affected you have to set the role so then only uh, the user can uh, do the privilege uh, like just like uh, if I sh say show uh, databases it won't show me the databases of the employees Be and we have assigned the employees database uh, to this role uh, like if you see here uh, this guy this show grants for report role this have the select privileges on employees dot uh, every table on the employees schema but here it's not showing so in order to reflect that you have to set the role and and this is how we can do that like set role now uh, we have the role has been set now and if you see here now select role you see before it was empty it was none and now the role has been set and now if you check my grants what are the grants so if you see here we don't have this uh, employees dot steric and now you see we have grant select on employees dot steric so now if I do the uh, show databases employees database has come and before that uh, we didn't have the employees database so this is how you can do that uh, set uh, the you you can set the uh, role so if you want to uh, remove that role uh, what you do is set role is equal to none and now you won't be able to see the databases and your role is none so this is how you can create a role and then uh, grant that role to the user and then set a role then unset the role and that's it for today guys uh, thank you so much for watching the videos please uh, like and subscribe to the channel and uh, so you don't miss the upcoming uh, videos and please uh, share it with your circle uh, so we can grow the community thank you so much guys thank you so much